a drag queen performed a strip tease for a group of children at the King County Library in Washington State. And I honestly don't know what's worse. The man dressed in tights showing his butt to a group of kids or the horrible parents who sat there and let it happen. But apparently this is where our society is at now and make no mistake, it is coming for you. A drag queen at the King County Library in Washington State was recently filmed partially stripping in front of young kids while wearing a mini skirt and a thong for diversity. Another one at the Minnesota Hennepin County Library read books to children about being neither male nor female, all while wearing a skirt so short that any time he moved, toddlers could see his women's underwear. Sorry about your eyes, but before you go pour bleach in them, get this. For those of you who've been living under a rock for the past couple of years, letting adult males in leopard print tights and stripper heels dance in front of little kids has apparently become pretty mainstream. Y'all remember when the LGBTQ LMNOP movement had about 17 fewer letters, and it was all about what two consenting adults did in the privacy of their own home. Just leave us alone and let us be who we are. Okay, fine. But see, the problem is anyone with a pair of eyes and more than about 15 brain cells could see it was never going to end there. In fact, that lasted about two seconds. We flew off the exit ramp from Gay Marriage Highway onto Freak Show Lane at about 120 miles an hour and took out every mailbox along the way. What started as just leave the adults alone has now turned into we're coming for your kids. It went from you live your life, I'll live mine to agree with me, you bigot, or I'll yank you into court and indoctrinate your preschooler without your consent. So now we've got Gary McGlitter prancing around in fishnet stockings and stripping for children, all for inclusivity. I'm just gonna say it because I am so sick of this PC nonsense. What kind of a sick pervert do you have to be to put on a thong and dance in front of children? This goes beyond not knowing what gender you are or thinking you were born in the wrong body. That's a mental health condition in need of psychiatric care. This right here, this is evil. This is grooming kids for pedophiles, don't believe me? Earlier this year, the Houston Public Library admitted that one of the drag queens they allowed to perform in front of kids was actually a 32-year-old sex offender who was convicted in 2008 of assaulting an eight-year-old boy. Turns out the library hadn't bothered to do a background check on the guy dressed as a woman who was dancing in front of toddlers. And for that matter, what kind of a bat crap crazy bottom of the barrel parent do you have to be to take your kids there to watch a grown man in lingerie take off his pants and bend over? Who does that? This is insane. Oh, and by the way, it's not just libraries. If you think your kids are safe from this junk just because you don't take them to these events, think again. Back in May, teachers at Central Park School for Children in Durham, North Carolina, invited some local drag queens from the, get this, House of Cox to talk to eighth graders about being themselves. Elementary school students in New York have held drag queen story hour for preschoolers to deepen and complicate their ideas about gender. It's time to stop beating around the bush with this nonsense. This isn't live and let live, you do your thing and I'll do mine. And it's certainly not teaching children to express themselves because you can do that with a box of Crayola markers and a few handfuls of Play-Doh. This, this is child abuse. This is about brainwashing children with the far left's perverse, hypersexualized, completely godless worldview because if they can't convince the adults in the room, they'll target the kids and they are coming for yours. And that's your Reality Check America. Make sure that you subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook and Twitter, and stay sane out there.